Afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session afternoon uh, update for Wednesday, the uh, 26th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's look at the stats then for European markets overall, uh, certainly in the positive, the FTSE 100 up 32 points. Did actually hit a pivot high of uh, 74.85, I think, if I can recollect. The German DAX certainly higher as well. The French CAC, FTSE MIB, IBEX stocks all certainly higher. Okay, so uh, the dollar certainly has been helped by the US healthcare vote overnight. Certainly helping the dollar there by sending the EURUSD lower, which in turn helps the uh, European equities. Also, European equities this morning have had stronger earnings. Okay, so certainly stronger earnings this morning, as the likes of Peugeot, uh, for example. Uh, we've also had a positive earnings from Glaxo as well. So uh, certainly earnings helping there, stronger earnings. Also with regards to Daimler and uh, BMW as well, certainly all posting stronger earnings and therefore helping the auto sector revive or reverse its actual fall itself. Uh, now, the UK did actually uh, put a potential ban on diesel and petrol cars by 2040, but then the Germans certainly said that they had no uh, certainly agenda of uh, putting a ban on combustion engine so again uh, certainly helping the auto sector to a large extent now we do have the u.s equity market into resistance with the fomc looming so bear that in mind okay so as, uh, certainly with uh, two potential unfilled gaps at uh, 2460 and 2470 potentially closing and therefore obviously having a bearish bias on on u.s equity so just bear that in mind as well in terms of market okay so uh, in terms of economic data this morning let's have a look in terms of the data uh, certainly helping European session this morning. We have had weak consumer confidence data out of the uh, out of France, so again that's certainly negative. Uh, so just Spanish retail sales certainly coming in stellar, coming in stronger than expected. So again that's certainly helping uh, European, or should we say Italian consumer confidence or business confidence as well, both coming in stronger than expected. ZEW out of Swi Swi uh, CHF certainly coming in stronger. Switzerland certainly coming in stronger as well. Okay, GBP UK uh, data certainly coming in. Uh, more or less in line, okay. Uh, uh, again, certainly uh, cause of concern, although uh, ha has coming in has come in line, but nothing spectacular, and thereby obviously signalling a potential uh, rate hike being off the table. So just bear that in mind. Mortgage applications came in slightly stronger as well, so bear that in mind in terms of the FTSE. We are looking forward to U.S. Uh, mortgage applications very shortly now, and then obviously home sales and the FOMC certainly is lingering. So. That's the status quo, okay, that's the status quo. GlaxoSmithKline earnings certainly came in stronger than expected as well, so therefore helping the FTSE 100 to a large extent. Uh, Sterling certainly hasn't fallen on the back of those weaker, potentially weaker uh, numbers going forward, especially with, with the construction being a drag on the uh, GDP number as well. Okay, now in terms of the FTSE, or should we say, let's start off with the German DAX as always, so let's look at the daily chart first and foremost, okay. So daily chart of German DAX into previous support equals resistance, so therefore looking at resistance and looking at a potential reversal being on the cards, okay. 60 minute chart, German DAX previous support equals resistance, certainly holding as well. And daily chart at the moment certainly has pushed it to higher highs. Okay, let's see if we can hold this previous resistance equals support here and potentially make a launch for 12840 or 12400, should I say, on the German DAX. So keep an eye on that. In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. Okay, so daily chart, the French CAC at the moment is coming into resistance. You still have that unfilled gap below at 5060, so watch out for that gap. Uh, also, with weaker consumer confidence and business confidence data, it certainly doesn't bode well at all. We're certainly holding FIB 75%, therefore looking for risk aversion. 10-minute chart certainly is starting to show some weakness now. If we, could, if we continue with this weakness, weakness, then you are looking at... Potential support being down at the 5160 zone, so watch out for 5160 below. And like I said, bear in mind the US equities certainly are into resistance as well. Okay, now in terms of euro stocks, let's just bring that up for you as well. So inside bar on the daily chart certainly bounced quite substantially. 60 minute chart at the moment is showing you resistance at that uh, FIB 61 to 55 75 percent. So then again, looking for weakness. Now we do have a potential unfilled gap to close as well. So keep an eye on there. Uh, you have potential support on the euro stocks now at uh, 2470. That's your key support zone. Even though we even though we made a higher high today, so just bear that in mind. Any flush uh, again, you are looking at support around 3475 zone. 
and also like I said it's been supported by stronger earnings as well so bear that in mind but you do have this key diagonal trend line to potentially test as well okay now FTSE 100 let's look at the FTSE itself the weekly chart certainly you know, remaining bullish daily chart certainly has held that key resistance in the diagonal trend line 60 minute chart has all filled 75 percent and now starting to reverse okay so let's see how this market unfolds or the FTSE itself unfolds you do have support seen at 7450 and then obviously gap fill at 7435 so certainly looking for gap fill below having said that like i said uk data certainly is supporting the case for no rate hike going forward and therefore that could certainly be perceived as bullish by the markets themselves so again certainly something to consider i did have a short position on the FTSE. i certainly exited just to see on the sidelines for now and let's see how the market unfolds okay so that's your status quo uh, looking for potential double top resistance at 746 certainly happy to uh, short the FTSE of that region and then look for potential gap fill target below at 7435 okay i think that's a good summation please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now.